<laughs> this one's really nice because of the belt on. We got a whole cart full. Look at this all. I love this sink. It's all powdery, right? But now once there's water, look at Bam! So the water still flows through with these little grate holes right there. <laughs> look what's here, fellas. Oh, holy sh! Oh, 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 I saw it. How is that real? That is ridiculous. <laughs> What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Today we are getting a new aquarium for a new fish, and this new fish just isn't any ordinary flower horn. It is one beautiful, high-valued flower horn. This thing is insane. Stay tuned, stick along. First things first, before anything, we need to go buy the aquarium for this new fish. Let's do it. Oh, dude, we got some ones to pick from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't think they were gonna have this many. All right, we're here to pick a brand new aquarium for a new fish we are getting very, very shortly. Obviously, we have to set the tank up, let it cycle, yada, yada, yada. But we got this tank right here. It's option number one. We got option number two, which is the same exact tank and stand as the axolotls. Option number three, which is really nice, but it looks like the tank doesn't quite fit the stand itself, which has a very nice stand. I love the white top marble. That's nice, that's option number three. Option. I'm not sure what that is. Option number four is this tank right here. I'm liking either this one, option number, holy moly, option number, never mind. This one's really nice because of the bow front. The mm -hmm. bow front, do we have the flower horn too. It is sold as a set, including tank, hood, lights, and stand. $249 for the whole set. What do you think, Danny? Mm. Think we should get option number one? Hmm. I think we just get this. Little starter kit, yep. the one gallon beta tank. Yep. That is what we're gonna buy. That's one of the coolest decors I've ever seen. I don't know, bro. This is this is nice. I don't want to duplicate the same one though. We, have, we already oh, have yeah. one of these. We could sit in here and talk all day. Uh, I don't want to bore you, but we're getting an aquarium and we're gonna buy one right now. And I think it's gonna be option number one. This just looks it looks perfect. And it's this right here is my second option, but this is a lot skinnier though. See how skinny that is? I don't like that. I like the width. I like the nice that girth. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy option number one. Let's grab this. Ready? That's all you need. Barcode. You need a heater. Right here. 50 gallon aquarium. You got a heater? This is the best brand. I always talk about it. They're not a sponsor. Never been sponsored, but tell you what, out of all the filters I've ever used, and I've used them all, this one right here has always treated me the best. Unfortunately, the biggest they got is a 30, and this tank's bigger than that, so. Those are absolute garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Garbage. They break like left and right. So are these. These are toast, too. Right but I'll tell you what. They run for the time being. We might have to just send it and get something that I typically wouldn't buy. This is probably our best bet. 50 gallons. Yep. We're gonna have to go with the Marine Land. Executive decision. That's actually cool. I bet you it's for like a hundred dollars though. We need we need we need gravel or, or a substrate. We'll do these. The natural sand. Such beautiful, beautiful substrate. We'll do two bags. Now this is another company that I will suggest to you guys. Super Naturals. The sand is so so fine. It is some of the best sand you can use in your aquariums. At least in my personal experience, okay, I know everyone's had different experiences, that sand looks beautiful, feels beautiful, and is just one of the best out there, in my opinion. I love it. We've got our substrate, we've got our decor in a way. Filter, heater, tank. What else we got? We're doing the whole nine yards today. Hey, look who it is, API, baby. That's a big sponsor of the channel. We love you, API. What your rock is? $54 for the rock? Yeah, yeah. Oh my. I forgot we don't have a sponsor for this video. We don't. This video is sponsored by PolkFarrowBrand.com. You can get your merch right now, top link in the description. We've got all sorts of stuff on the website. Go check it out. Now, if enough of you purchase some merch, we could we could officially buy this tank. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're buying this for? Yes. All right, we need an air pump then. We need an air pump. We just need a small one, just to get a small one. A little bit of tubing, a stone right here. That'll fit inside. There's no stone to make the bubble, it's just the hose. No, you put this in it. No. I promise, yes, because the small bubbles will connect to the top of the chest, then become one no. big bubble no. and pop to the top. You promise you, I was a professional in geometry. Guess on the total, guess on the total. It's at 480. 460. 440. Oh my gosh. Thanks so much. How far did we park? Oh, I can carry it. We can pull up. I can carry it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that boy big, huh? <laughs> All that working out is coming in hand. He's probably the worst person to trust you. We are trusting, yes, 100%. The most klutzy friend of mine to hold the glass. There he goes. He just hit the wall with the glass product. We got a whole cart full. Look at us all. Oh, yeah. The whole squad rolling out. And we are back at the fish building. The tank is in its position. I have it right here to the side. 
This is gonna be perfect. So we're gonna keep all the tanks, all fish tanks along this wall here. As you can see, all the tanks along this whole entire wall. This looks awesome. This is the first boat front tank. No way. Yeah, from my knowledge. Maybe I've had one in the past, but it's the only one in here. Wow. And it's the only one I remember having, so. <laughs> this is super awesome, excited for this. I do wanna paint the back, but I'm most likely just gonna do a black uh, piece of paper from Home Depot, push it up on there, and, and then, yeah, do that. Let's get our substrate in. Let's take the fake substrate out. Ready, watch this. You thought it was rock. No, just paper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh, it's like powder. It's crazy, I love it. That one bag might be literally dang close. Dang close to enough. That is. That one one bag was enough. So we can keep this other bag because we'll of course use it eventually. Now, for a $55 piece of artificial rock. This is so cool though. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that looks sick. This right here is gonna be the light cord. This is a world record time for setting up an aquarium. We're almost done already. Boom. And then I always like to keep these little things to make everything neat so you don't see any wires. It's nice not having to worry about getting anything wet. But we have actually installed a... Want to hold that, Dave? Yep. We've actually installed a water hose in the building. Now we let it fill. This won't take long at all. Once this is fully filled, we'll set up the rest of our stuff, like the filter, the heater, and all that stuff that needs water in order to be done. But I tell you what, this is gonna be awesome. It'll obviously have some days to clear up, and then we're getting the most beautiful flower horn you've ever seen in your life. I love this sink, it's all powdery, right? But now once there's water, look at that. It's just so pure. It's expensive, but it's expensive for a reason. Now a lot of people say when you get a flower horn you shouldn't put anything in the tank. No wood, no plants, no nothing. They run into it like crazy. Personally, I've never had any problems with that. I'll keep the rocks in here for now. If there is an issue with him running into it or something crazy, I'll get rid of the rock. It's not that hard, it's just literally as simple as pull it out. But I know there'll probably be some comments about that, so I wanted to mention that. It's always scary filling up a tank like a first time it's been filled up. Waiting for the seals to just burst or something straight out of the pet store manufactured. <laughs> manufactured incorrectly. <laughs> I'm going to keep the box for this because once I do find a better filter, I'm gonna buy a better filter. I'm gonna keep the box in case it does break, I could always return it. I'm a picky filter guy, what can I say? There we go, good to go. Throw this sucker on there. Heater. And now Carreros, I don't know how much you wanna watch with this, but we're gonna speed it up here because you know how simple it is. Throw the heater in, we're gonna set everything up and I'll catch you when this thing is fully set up. In the text message from the flower horn breeder, he said 82 to 84 degrees. Set it at what his tanks are set at. Now, for Daniel's little bubble treasure thing, right Danny? <laughs> I promise so you, watch, with you want to bet money? This thing is gonna pump small bubbles into here. Look at that, look at that little stone mechanism. It's gonna trap all the small bubbles and only big will come out. Watch, boom, see? We've got big bubbles. Big bubbles coming out. Oh yeah, oxygen. <laughs> All righty, Kaferos, the tank is done. The filter's running, the heater is on, the chest is flowing with bubbles, and we are set. It's time to turn the lights on. Bam! Woo! For the most part, this right here is the perfect little setup. I cannot wait to receive this flower horn. This tank is gonna cycle up in the next few days. I got quick start, I'm gonna put in right now. I gotta grab Quick start, help with some beneficial bacteria inside this tank. Let it do its thing for a little bit. I might even throw like a little minnow or two in here, a goldfish or something to spice it up. Speed the little process up a little faster. But we got a fish coming for this, so I'll see you whenever that fish gets here. <laughs> Look what's here, fellas. Our flower horn. I'm not even gonna go into the box yet, because obviously we gotta do water tests. We have our API Freshwater Master Test Kit. This video's not even sponsored, but I like to show that I do use these products even when the videos aren't sponsored. All right, we have tested the pH, and as you can see, we want this between 7.6 and 8.2 for this particular flower horn. That's what he keeps his tanks at. And we are on the shmoney, baby. Look at that. I got a text message from the flower horn breeder saying he actually sent, I'm assuming inside this box with the fish, a mirror. 15 minutes per day, you will hang the mirror on the side of the tank and it will mimic another fish. He will get mad, do circles around it, but it helps with his colors and his cock. The head thing. 
Shout out to J4 Flower Horns. J4 Flower Horns. I will leave all of their information in the description down below. If you guys want some very, very high end flower horns or anything on their website, I do have a promo code PC10 for 10% off. Caferos, go show them some love because they did provide this beautiful fish for the fish building. What can I say other than let's get this box open, huh? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, dude. Golly! Is that merch? That is merch. Am I about to take the PC off to wear their merch? I am. Gotta show love when love's due, huh? We'll put the Axolotl PC shirt on the Axolotl tank. Now we're talking. It's actually cool. It is fire. really cool. All right, what is this? Let's see what's next. Another shirt. This one's for you, Dave. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. They gave me food. What? Sweet. They have their own food. Here's the little thing. Fire up when I put this in front of the tank. He's gonna be like, <gasps> oh, look at the little keychain. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. They've got all sorts of stuff. This is the food they provided us. He also wrote down how much I should feed him. I believe it's two or three times per day. I'll have to double check, but I just want to go with the same diet he's been on. So, moment of truth, Pharaohs. Moment of truth. Ooh, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, oh, I saw it. Holy <laughs> moly. How is that real? I'll stop teasing you. Oh. We will get much, much better video, of course, when he's in the tank. Bruh, look at that. Look at it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is, that is insane that, that his cock is as big as his body. K-O-K, -okay, by the way, <laughs> that's what their, their head's called. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. Well, Caferos, this ain't our first rodeo. You know what the deal is? We gotta acclimate. He's acclimating. Turn the lights off so it's not right in his face and give it like 20, 30 minutes. All right, so we're just hanging out in the fish building while we were waiting for our flower horn to acclimate. We did a little something over here. We took our African side neck, our big African side neck. Where is he? There he is. We put him into the tank with our Mata Mata that doesn't move much, but we put our African side neck because he's just getting so big. I mean, look at the size of this thing now. I got him when he was so tiny. We've had this thing for years. And I said it was time for an upgrade. And you know, Mata Matas don't move much. If there were any aggression between the two of them, they've got this big pond. The African side neck loves to go on land and bury himself, so this is the perfect spot for him. A little upgrade for him. Now for the upgrades over here, we actually just moved the concrete slab over here. We built this little tiny like makeshift mini turtle pond inside a turtle pond. So the water still flows through with these little great holes right there. And all the little turtles, so you see our little snapping turtles in here. We have a, our little yellow belly right here, as you can see. All these turtles will be able to stay in here and not get bugged by the bigger turtles. There was some aggression going on. Obviously, you get a turtle that's growing a lot faster than the other. They're gonna be a little more aggressive towards the smaller ones. So this was our little makeshift, and it looks awesome. It literally looks amazing. This little makeshift mini turtle pond inside the turtle pond. Got water flowing through it. I'm gonna get a little wave maker for the other side of this over there today, and this is just gonna look amazing. So now we got the bigger turtles, like right here. As you can see, look how big the turtles are getting. They're super fat and healthy. Indian spotted, look how beautiful this melanistic turtle is right there. All those are on this side, and then we have the babies on this side. Look at the map turtle. He's getting so big, it's insane. All right, it's time, it's officially time to get our flower horn now into this tank. Let's turn the lights on. Look at the colors. Wow. Wow is right. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I had to put them in my hand just to get the full vision of them. Oh, well, that's nice and warm for him. There he goes. Our little flower horn is home! <gasps> you! Oh, we've been waiting for that for so long. Initially, that flower horn was supposed to go into where the Fly River is, which is right here, but I needed the Fly River to have a nice quarantine tank, which he's fully healed now, practically at least. This just looks so good. So I gotta do the black background. I've been slacking on that. I still have to do it for the arowana tank. He was just he was just in transport for literally a full 24 hours. So we'll let him hang out here. I'm gonna turn the lights off for him. I'll clean this tank up and I'll pick up the camera in a couple hours, maybe even tomorrow. So the problem is it's still so new that the rock is he's just gonna hide behind the rock. So we're probably gonna end up taking this rock out, I'm not gonna lie. I do want to give him something to hide in when he wants to feel a little comfort. Oh, there he comes. So just a couple minutes ago I came in here alone without the camera. I just had my iPhone and I was filming him literally 
playing with that mirror thing that he sent. And it was awesome, dude. He was fired up. Like, he was all lit up. So he does come out of his little comfort zone that he's in right now, but obviously, right, it looks like nothing's in the aquarium. Let me see this camera. I gotta show him from the behind. You're just gonna hide. I see you back there. You're, you're not slick. You're gonna see a lot more of this flower horn on the channel, Caferos. Make sure you subscribe down below, because it's Vlogmas. We're posting Monday through Friday. Making bangers. Again, another massive shout out to J4 Flower Horn. Everything is down below if you guys want to check out all of the website. You can get yourself a flower horn like this. Probably has tips and tricks on there as well for flower horn keeping. This is just so, so awesome. I really do appreciate it. One beautiful fish, if not the most beautiful fish inside the fish building. That's a fact. New flower horn, another video live. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Peace.